Good morning. Praise the Lord. Let us believe and pray. God our Father, we thank you for such a lovely and a wonderful day you have given us. Lord, we enter through your gates with a lot of thanksgiving, honoring and adoring your holy name, because Lord, you have given, you have given us an opportunity to honor you. We commit ourselves to you and even this service to you. We ask, Lord, that you shower us with your Holy Spirit, that your presence, O oh God, will be felt in this service, that, Lord, we shall not live the same we have entered by these doors. We prayed for your blessings, O oh God, our Father, and may you take charge over everything that we shall do in this service. Have your way, Master, Lord, and King, through the singing, even through the preacher, and even the ministry of the world. May you be experienced in a mighty way. And this is our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Yes, you're 
powerful Lord you are. Just we pour out our hearts, Lord, before you. Ah, oh, oh, we give you love. Glory, Lord, glory unto you, honor unto you, Lord, for you are God, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. <laughs> As we hey, hey, you are wonder, you are, you are the full of Hey, oh, wonder, hey. Oh, you are the full you are happy. God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, be lifted above for the ghost. We lay a crown and worship. Oh, oh, oh. 
Shine! Shine! Oh, we praise you, Lord. And oh, we shout out loud to you, Lord. We shout out loud. And oh, oh, God, let's go and sing. Oh, we praise you, Lord, Lord. <laughs> oh, just give thanks unto the Lord. We praise you, Lord. We lay our hearts before you, Lord, this morning. And we surrender to you, Lord. We surrender to you, Lord. We surrender to you, Lord. Yes, we bow before you, Lord, because you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Yes, yes, Lord.
for me to invite you to
alone in our bulletins. Coming a high. Order of Jesus of Jesus' life on up, he offered up prayers and petitions with loud cries and tears to the one who saved him, who could save him from death. 
and he was he was hard because of his reverent submission although he was a son he learned obedience from what he suffered and once made perfect he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him and was designated by God to be high priest in the order of Melchizedek this is the word of God
stand to hear the good news of our salvation as it is written in the gospel according to St. John chapter 12 beginning to read at verse 20 to 33. John 12, 20 to 33. Some Greeks were among those who had gone to Jerusalem to worship during the festival. They went to Philip. He was from Bethsaida in Galilee. And he said, Sir, we want to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. And the two of them went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has now come for the Son of Man to receive great glory. I am telling you the truth. A grain of wheat remains no more than a single grain unless it is dropped into the ground and dies. If it does die, then it produces many grains. Those who love their own life will lose it. Those who hate their own life in this world will keep it for life eternal. Whoever wants to serve me must follow me so that my servant will be with me where I am. And my father will honor anyone who serves me. Now my heart is troubled. What shall I say? Shall I say, Father, do not let this hour come upon me? But this is why I came, so that I might go through this hour of suffering. Father, bring glory to your name. Then a voice spoke from heaven, I have brought glory to it, and I will do so again. The crowd standing there heard the voice, and some of them said, It was a thunder, while others said, An angel spoke to him. But Jesus said to them, It was not for my sake. up from the earth. I will draw everyone to me. In saying this, he indicated the kind of death he was going to suffer. This is the gospel of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be to Christ our Savior. As we stand, let us join in singing our holy words, long preserved for our walk with our God, read by the priest team. In our bulletins, holy words, once preserved for our walk with the Christ.
Amen, amen. May the words of God impact our life. Hallelujah. Uh, I invite us to continue standing. And on page 45, item 18, page 45, item, item 18, we stand together with the Christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today to affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. Together, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, right from right, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified at the Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. May we have our seats and continue in prayers. May the bishops and the leaders of our churches have wisdom and speak with one voice. May the leaders of our country rule with righteousness. May justice be our shield and defender. May the country have peace and the people be blessed. May the frogs and the hearts prosper and the fish abound in our ricks. May the fields be fertile and the harvest plentiful. May we and our enemies turn towards peace. May the, father of the, may the love of the Father touch the lonely, the believed, and the suffering. May the path of the world be swept of all dangers. Hallelujah, the Lord of mercies. Page 49, item 21. Brothers and sisters, hear the words of challenge and comfort. Our Savior Christ says to all who follow him, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Come to me, all of you who are tired of carrying your heavy loads, and I will give you rest. So all of you who repent of your sins, who love your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life following the way of Jesus, come with faith and take this holy sacrament to strengthen you. But before that, let us reverently confess our sins to Almighty God together. Almighty God, creator of all, you marvelously made us in your image, but we have corrupted ourselves and damaged your likeness by rejecting your love and hurting our neighbors. We have done wrong and regretted to do right. We are sincerely sorry and heartily repent of our sins. Cleanse us and forgive us by the sacrifice of your son. Remake us and read us by your spirit the comforter. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty God, whose steadfast love is as great as the heavens are high above the earth, remove your sins from you as far as the east is from the west. Strengthen your life in his kingdom and keep you upright to the last day. Through Jesus Christ, our merciful high priest. Amen. Thank you, Father, for forgiveness. We come to your table as your children, not presuming but assured, not trusting ourselves but your word. We hunger and thirst for righteousness and ask for our hearts to be satisfied with the body and the blood of your son, Jesus Christ the righteous. Amen. Amen. It's time for the notices.
Shene. Our men's fellowship will be on the 24th of March at uh, Steve Maria's place. That is uh, those uh, around Get Getire. That is in Getire. You are all welcome. And this will take place immediately after the service. Um, after the service again, this morning service, men are requested to remain behind to meet with the diocesan men's, the men, men leadership uh, for a brief uh, uh, conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for listening to some notices. Thank you, our people's warden, for taking us through the notices. Once again, uh, Karibuni Sana, and more especially to our visitors, and our very special guest, uh, Baba Skofu and Mama Karibuni Sana. Uh, we'll honor them and we'll give them an opportunity to say hi to us uh, towards the end of the service. Kwa hivyo Baba Skofu, tutakupa na fasi nzuri ya kutusalimia towards the end of the service. Uh, it's time now we want to hear the word of God. Our preacher this morning is uh, Reverend Omasinde, who is the, uh, the coordinator of Kama in the diocese. And to welcome him and the word of God in and through him, we shall all eyes read by the priest him to a time of celebration, to a time of lifting our hands in the presence of God as we glorify our Father, as we also get a time of prayer to pray and commit our needs to the Lord because he is our faithful God. And so let us be upstanding for a moment uh, in the presence and also a moment to celebrate our God. Praise and worship take us through. We thank you, Jesus, for being here. And guys, we are the blessed service. You are happy to be here, and we are hope that our energy is going to come to you. Sindio, ah, twende kazi. Twende hivi. Ainu liwe mungu wetu leo. Ainu liwe bwana wama bwana masia. Tu 
wakusifu mungu mwenye nguvu Hauna mwanzo wala mwisho Mungu wetu sipi Pokea, pokea Pokea, pokea Tu pokea, pokea Pokea, pokea Pokea, 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 Shango ku
Tutti a Tali E a me A me ten a me 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 Tutti a Tali Jabana kuliko walinzi wango jabyo asubuhi nafsi yangu ya kungo jabana kuliko walinzi wango jabyo asubuhi Nam kuliko walinzi wango jabyo asubuhi nafsi yangu ya kungoja Nam kuliko walinzi wango jabyo asubuhi Nafsi yangu ya kungoja wale wote wa mgoja o bwana watafanywa upya nguvu zao Nam kuliko walinzi wango jabyo asubuhi nafsi yangu ya kungoja Nam kuliko walinzi wango jabyo asubuhi nafsi yangu ya kungoja
Dalam kuliko walinsi Wango jabio wasubuhi Nafsi yangu ya kungoja Dalam kuliko walinsi Wango jabio wasubuhi Nafsi yangu ya kungoja Dalam kuliko walinsi Wango jabio wasubuhi Nafsi yangu ya kungoja God, our Heavenly Father, we are so delighted that among so many people in this world, you've granted us grace and the gift of life so that we can be here to worship you and also hear from you. Now, Lord, we are listening. We pray that, Lord, you speak to us in a voice that will hear you and even understand well. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's have our seats. And as we have our seats, let's appreciate praise and worship team. A better clap for the choir. And a great clap to the Almighty God who has brought us this far. Thank you. Really enjoying the uh, singing ministry in this church. I'm already blessed. Uh, my name is Naftali. I'm I'm born again, and I thank God for the gift of salvation. This God has been so good and gracious to me, and I'm forever grateful. Uh, i married. Uh, uh, my wife is here. I want to request her to stand and say hi. Thank you so much. She's called uh, Evelyn. We are so delighted to be here through the... Also blessing and invitation of our vicar. Uh, apart from just coming and fellowship, we also granted us opportunity to also uh, use this pulpit to bring forth the word of God. As he shared earlier, in Kama Department, that is Kenya Anglican Main Association, this is a ministry of men within our diocese. We visit our chidikondries every month. So this month we are visiting these Archidikondri wastelands. We've sent officials all over the HD country, and then in the afternoon, we are going to have a fellowship with all men at St. Bartholomew Nyari. Therefore, we are all invited. But after this service, we are requesting men to remain behind so that we can have a word or two and encourage each other, and even Lake Canon, David Kariuki, our able chair, also be speaking to us. Banais was if you I want to draw your attention to the reading from the Old Testament, which was read to us very well. Um, that is Second uh, Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7. And uh, before I expound to it, I'll just ask a question. Have you ever found yourself in a crisis? And if you've ever been in a crisis, how was the experience and how did you come out of it? Because the whole text of um, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7, it is talking about a woman who was in crisis. He was in difficult situation. I want to examine and see what was happening, what happened to her and see a few lessons we can learn from this passage. 
Second Kings chapter 4 verse 1 to 7 displays the story of a woman who had just lost uh, uh, her husband. And at that particular time when uh, she was still mourning, some creditors came. You see, sometimes I don't know whether it's, uh, I think it's uh, on a culture from before. Whenever you hear you owed some people and maybe a member of their family passed on, people came to seek for payment and failure to do that. The culture at that particular time was just to pick part of your family and take them away as slaves. So this woman here, she just lost her husband. And now the creditors came saying, your husband owed us a lot of money. Now we want you to repay us. If you don't uh, do that in good time, then we are going to take away your two sons. So this woman was in crisis. Why? Still grieving the loss of uh, the beloved husband. Before even healing, the creditors are coming. Your hubby owes a lot of money. Now it's your time to pay. Failure to do the needful, we are going to take away your two sons. So this woman was in great pain. How can I lose my husband? Then with this, at the same time, also lose my only two sons, who are the source of my hope at this particular time. So she was in pain, not knowing what will happen next. So, she went to Prophet Elisha. The husband to this woman worked under Prophet Elisha some time back. So she went to him and told him, man of God, I just lost my husband. She is not alive. And right now, the creditors have come. They want me to pay them what my hubby owed them. And now I don't have any resources. And failure to pay them, they are threatening. They want to take away my two boys. So I am in pain. What should I do? Then Elisha, in verse 3, said, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Then the woman responded, your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a little oil. So this woman was asked a simple question, how can I help you? What do you have? Then first she said, I have nothing. And she said, I only have a little oil remaining in my house. Then Prophet Elisha gave her instructions. One, go out together with your sons. Go and collect empty jars as much as you can. Once you're done with that, go lock yourself in the house together with your sons with those empty jars. And then pour that re little remaining oil in every empty jar. Of course, uh, she didn't uh, tell her what will happen after pouring the little oil in empty jars. So woman, by the step of faith, she went out and did what she was told. Collected several jars all over together with the sons. Then they locked themselves in their house. And then they poured the little oil in every empty jar. And as they did that, all the jars were full of oil. Oil. oil was flowing until all empty jars were full and they didn't have a place to store anymore. Then when the son said, Mommy, all jars are full, we can't have any more, that's the moment the oil stopped flowing. So this woman was good because most of us, when we get some help, we disappear completely. But this woman went back to the prophet Elisha, man of God, I have done what you told me. I have a lot of oil now in my house. What will I do? And then Prophet Elisha told her, 
go and sell part of those oil and clear the dates that uh, your husband left and then the remaining oil you can live on it because during those days and even up to today oil was such a, a prestigious commodity so a woman who was poor with nothing cleared all the dates and became suppliers of oil at that particular place so dear brothers and sisters what can we learn from this particular text I want to share about God's provision in times of crisis. First and foremost, we learn that we should trust in God's provision. We should trust in God's provision. Just as the widow turned to Elisha, Christians can turn to God in times of need. Trusting that he can provide solution even when circumstances seem very difficult. So from this story we are learning that we can still turn to God for help during time of crisis. And this God is ever faithful, loving, caring, and gracious. Ready to hear our problems and also to help us get out of those challenges and even meet as a point of our need. So in this life, uh, as a people of God, we are going through different seasons of life, full of ups and downs, surrounded by various storms of life. And sometimes we think of uh, giving up. Sometimes we think as if we have been abandoned by God because we feel things are not going well on our end and yet my neighbors my peers are doing quite well with life God has created us in such a way we live together but we go in different seasons at different times so I don't know what you're going through at this particular time maybe you're going through a time of crisis at your workplace in the family or uh, in your business but we are being reminded this morning that we should trust in God's provision. When we trust and have faith in God, God is able to make a way for us in terms of providing for us and ensuring that we get that support which we need so that we can overcome the challenge that we are going through. Many a times we struggle in times of crisis, but we don't uh, uh, we don't uh, engage God some of us will move all over and then when we are defeated and then we start turning back to the church or to mchungaji or to fellowship for spiritual support and God's intervention let us not take God as a first second third uh, second third or fourth alternative in times of crisis make God a priority trust and believe in him and will make a way for you. Jehovah Jireh is able to provide. Therefore, we should trust him for provision. And he'll be able to do just the way he did it to this woman through his servant, Elisha. Point number two. We are being reminded, based from this particular text we've just uh, uh, read, that we should utilize the available resources. We should utilize well the available resources within our midst. Even if resources are sufficient, Christians should be resourceful and make the most of what they have, just as the widow had a small jar of oil. You see, this woman, to some extent, despised what she had. When she was asked, how can I help you? Tell me what you have in your house. And then she said, your servant has nothing there at all. Then after pausing, she said, except a little oil. So in other words, this woman did not believe that even out of this small oil, her miracle will come out of that place. Out of this little oil, I will have more to 
to sell to other people, clear the debts, and remain with the sum to supply to the other people. But now God used this particular context to also teach him that from that which you have, I can still multiply so that you can have in abundance to meet your needs and even the needs of the other people. So what do you have in your possession? Most of us, we despise that which God has given us within our context. And sometimes we end up comparing ourselves with the other people. I wish I was my cousin or my brother or my sister or that uh, church member. She has a lot of resources or she's excelling well in this area. No. God is not telling us to think about what other people have. He's just asking within your means, what do you have? And he's reminding us if you utilize well the blessings that God has given you in terms of resources, talent, skills, and abilities, if you use them well, if you appreciate that that which I have, I have been given by God. Therefore, if I believe and trust in him, he is able to help me to make so many things out of these uh, uh, resources, abilities, and skills, even to move to higher heights in life. So what do you have in your possession? Utilize well what you have, and God will multiply it. So this woman, Elisha did not uh, conduct any funny miracle or tell him go and get something else. Just go and use that which you have in your house. And through the power of God and by having faith, there was a lot of oil coming out of it. So an encouragement to all of us. What do you have in terms of resources, saving and investments? What do you have in terms of skills and abilities? What do you have? You can still use the same. And by faith in God, God will multiply it and you'll have much to fulfill your needs and also serve other people that God will bring in your life. Point number three, based on this text, Second uh, Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7, we should save and invest for the future. We should save and invest for the future. In other words, this point is talking about saving and investment is very key to all of us. This woman was left in a problem because the husband had not worked well in an area where saving and investment is concerned. And some extent, he lived uh, such a life of borrowing. Kufuliza hapa napa, hapa napale. So that's not a good lifestyle that I will encourage all of us to live. Especially men who are in this church, because this man, the subject matter here was a man. And we see men, we are the priests in our own respective families. We are the leaders and the providers and the protectors. We are the vision casters of our family. So if you are a man and you model your life into borrowing and don't have a responsible way of spending and not saving for the future of your family, then there will be a problem once you have left. You are le your family will be left in the problem where this woman, the widow, was at that particular time. If the hubby had lived a responsible life of saving and investing and not borrowing, because they also responsive borrowing, maybe to invest and grow your financial base. But in this context, it means he borrowed a lot, but that which was borrowed was not even uh, helping in terms for investing for his family. And during that particular time, if we fail to clear somebody's debts, and then they will just come and pick your family members and go away with it. Nowadays it has been advanced in our modern culture. I think Vico was sharing with us in the first service. The auctioneers will come. Man, if we leave our families in uh, debts when we are not around, 
all our properties will be auctioned and our family will be left homeless. So we are praying and trusting God that God will give us grace and wisdom that while we are still alive, as a couple, that we are going to come up with plans on how to save and invest for the betterment of our children when we are alive and even after we have left. Because the fact was and still is, our children, our spouses, our grandchildren, they deserve to live a better life when we are alive and even after we have left. But that will be determined by the kind of the plans we put in place while we are still alive. So this, woman, this, man, uh, this man borrowed a lot. And by the time he was dying, because all of us, we don't know when and how we shall die. When by the time he was dying, the family, he was in a lot of financial crisis. So we are encouraging men who are here and even ladies who are here, because when it comes to issue of saving investment at family level, it's a collective responsibility. Let us unite to save and invest for the betterment of our children and even our generations. So men, which plans do you have for your family in regard to saving and investment? Is it a realistic plan? This assignment for you together with your dear wife as you go home think about it and the Lord help you to make the right choice where that is concerned. Last point seek spiritual guidance seeking spiritual guidance what am I meaning by saying this this woman when was in a problem he rushed to prophet Elisha to seek advice and also spiritual guidance in regard to the challenge she was having at that particular time. She didn't consult neighbors or mamai ni chamas or uh, friends, cousins and other groups within our social circles. She went straight away to the man of God. So we are being reminded that consulting our spiritual leaders or mentors can provide valuable insights and direction. Elisha's instructions were instrumental in solving the widow's problem. So where do you run to in times of crisis? Do you run into your spiritual leaders? Do you run into your mentors? Or you run to your fellow colleagues at the place of work, fellow members in the chama. And then when you realize they have not guided you well, that's now when you rush back to your vicar, saying, Mchungaja pakime umano. I want your advice in regard to this particular problem. We are being reminded, even in times of crisis, let us seek, let us consult our spiritual leaders our mentors who are rooted in the word of God. One, they will pray for us. And then number two, they will give us wisdom and nuggets and uh, advice on how to overcome that particular challenge and all will be well. So the widow initially perceived her problem as overwhelming. She had a limited resource, that's a small jar of oil. So it was an inadequate to meet her needs, which were represented by her debts and the imminent loss of the sons to slavery. However, when she sought the guidance of the prophet Elisha and followed his instruction, her perspective changed completely. So when we consult right people during time of crisis, our perspective towards the challenge we are going through at that particular time will eventually change. So we are praying and trusting God that God will be able to strengthen you, to give you grace and wisdom, also to seek advice and guidance from the right people during times of crisis. It's not easy to be in crisis. That's when you know the true friends who mean in your life. So people disappear, others condemn you, others do kind of all things to discourage you. That's why we are being reminded in that particular time of crisis, 
we should always trust in God's provision. He will always provide what you need in terms of resources, healing, strength, and abilities. God will provide it. We're also learning that even during time of crisis, and uh, many people become broke, we have so many challenges, but we are reminded to utilize the available resources within our midst. And through faith in God, God will multiply it and make it great to meet our needs and the needs of the other people. Number three, we've also learned we should save and invest for the future. I think that is well noted. And then the last one, we should endeavor to seek spiritual guidance, especially from our spiritual leaders and our mentors, so that can pray for us, encourage us, and give us the right advice. This woman was so wise. She rushed to uh, the man of God, and she was helped in a big way. May we be encouraged in the Lord. That is, we observe these points, that God will be able to hold us strong during times of crisis, and all will be well. Let us pray. Most loving, faithful, and gracious Lord, you are reminding us that you are such a loving, faithful, caring, and reliable God during times of crisis. And even this service, we are going through different times of uh, going through different seasons of life. Lord, as we endeavor to have faith in you, may you be with us and may you help us to conquer that which the enemy will bring on our way. Thank you, loving Father, for your word. Bless us as we meditate on it. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much, uh, Reverend uh, Naftari, for sharing the word of God. Uh, thank you so much. We are blessed with the four points. And uh, to meskia you metuambia mambo ya kukopa. Bwana asifiwe. Mesema mambo ya fuliza. Hallelujah. Sisi tumetubu hiyo dhambi. Na sisi atutaachia mutu deni. Bwana asifiwe. Asante. It's time to we honor God with uh, our gifts. We want first to do the tithing, and uh, I invite uh, those who are ready to honor God with their tithe uh, to come. As we sing, I hear the Savior say that uh, thy strength is indeed small, but uh, let us uh, watch and pray, because Christ is all in all. As we do that, the payable number will be projected on the screens. Those who want to do through M-Pesa, uh, they can do that. Those who are following us online, you can also use our pay bill numbers. Uh, you, if you can do it in a more visible uh, my, my projection, you can bolden it so that we can see it from this end uh, so that we can be able to honor God with our income. I hear the Savior say, praise and worship.
left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. Let us pray. My brothers and my sisters, you have come before God, the owner of everything. He has given you a source of livelihood. You have now come to honor him with portions of income. Heavenly Father, I pray for these our dear brothers and sisters who have honored and acknowledged your goodness in their life. May you bless them. May you be gracious to them. May you love them. May you hold them with your hand. Read them to more greener pastures in the name of Jesus Christ. Our friends, we bless you in the name of God. May it be done to you as your heart has desired. May from where you are kneeling and trusting God from, may there be springs of joy out of this altar that Heavenly Father will continue to allow you to quench every thirst and to satisfy you every day of your life. We pray that the Lord will bless your businesses. Your, our God will bless your places of work that it shall be well with you, that your children shall be blessed out of your faithfulness to God. May our God reward you. May our God look kindly upon you and continue to shower you with the bread of heaven. May you never lack in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be called great because you serve a great God. May the miracles of God be experienced in your life. And as the woman whom we have been taught this day, that uh, her jars kept on filling and filling until there was an overflow. May it be so in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We prophesy to you this day, may you increase beyond measure because our God can bless you abundantly. Receive those blessings and may you go and increase in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Thank you. We now stand, all of us, and uh, now we sing um, praise team kindly give, give us a, a hymn for uh, the offer tree so let us be upstanding naona kama tumeimba zote zilikuwa kwa program haya praise team kindly take us through i 
left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. All dressed the solid rock has done. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Cast alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground. Found through the fences round and strong. What heights of love, what depths of fear. When in the still, when striving seas. My comforter, my all in all. Here in the love of Christ, the Son. He cries alone. Who to conflict fullness of God in helpless babe? This gift of love in Russia's nest, stormed by the ones he came to save. Till on the cross of Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied for every sin. He was laid here in the death of Christ alone. In the cloud, his body lay, light of the world by darkness lay. Then across the fall, in August day, out from the grave he rose again. We have brought this. We want to thank you, our God and our Father, that you have brought us further this far in your sanctuary. You've blessed us this morning that we have brought our offerings. Father, may you receive it and sanctify it. Father, even as it does work in our diocese, in our parish, Father, may it bring glory to your great name and also to your work. For those who don't have our Father, may you remember them. And as you remembered the widow father in Nerisha, Father, may you bless us so that we can continue blessing your work and also your holy name. We thank you and honor you for this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We remain standing and turn to page 51. Uh, page 59, we continue with the Holy Communion. Uh, page 51, we remain standing for thanksgiving and remembrance. Is the Father with us? Is Christ among us? Is a spirit here? This is our God. We are his people. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and our delight to give you thanks and praise, great Father, living God, spring over the world, creator, provider, savior, and giver. From our wandering nobody, you created your family. For a burdened people, you raised up a leader. For a confused nation, you chose a king. For a rebellious crowd, you sent your prophets. In these last days, you have sent your son, your perfect image, bringing your kingdom, revealing your will, dying, rising, reigning, remaking your people for yourself. Through him, we have poured out your Holy Spirit, filling us with right and life. Therefore, with the angels, archangels, faithful ancestors all in heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying together, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Almighty God, on of all things, we thank you for giving up your son to die on the cross for us, for you everything, for your refreshing spirit on us as we remember him in the way he commanded through these gifts of your creation. 
On the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread. And after giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take it. This is my body which was given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And after giving you thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink this all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which was shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. We are brothers and sisters through his blood. Therefore, Heavenly Father, hear us as we celebrate this covenant with joy and await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He died in our place, making full atonement for the sins of the whole world, the perfect sacrifice once and for all. You accepted his offering by raising him from death and grant him great honor at your right hand on high. This is a feast of victory. As our Savior taught us, we have our seats and pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. The cup of blessing which we bless. Draw near with faith and receive. Christ is alive forever. O Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. O Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. O Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the whole world. Brothers and sisters, the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which were given for you, take it in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Haribuni. Thou come Kwa damu yake 
Tu n'as au camille de feu. Amen, Guia. Malipata katifu. Kwa damu yaki. Tu n'as au camille de
We now uh, stand together, we join in the prayer after communion. The prayer after communion, page 56, item 32. The prayer after communion together. Almighty God, eternal Father, we have sat at your feet, learned from your word, and eaten from your table. We give you thanks and praise for accepting us into your family. Send us out with your blessing to live and to witness for you in the power of your spirit. Through Jesus Christ, the firstborn from the dead. Amen. We know where to take our problems. Oh, the cross, oh, the cross, where I first saw the right and the burden so my heart to roll down. All the way, it was there by faith. I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. All our problems, all our difficulties, all the devil's works. But for all our hopes, thank you. We may have your seats. Thank you so much. Uh, we are nearing the end of our service. And uh, just before, uh, I invite uh, Baba Skofu to say hi to us. I first want to give an opportunity to the Kama Chair uh, to Salimie. Baba Skofu and Mam, our vicar and Mam, our Dalzishan coordinator and Mam, our uh, Christo Banaiswa Sifue, Jina Langu ni David Karioki, ni Miokoka Christo ni Buana Katika Maisha Yangu. By the grace of God, I serve as the Dalzishan Kama Chairman, and this morning I thank God for the opportunity to come and worship with you. And I really, really feel blessed. As our coordinator said, every month we have a program called Kama Mashinani where we visit our brothers, we fellowship with them, and hear what is happening there so that we can continue growing the kingdom of God and encouraging our brothers to come with us together, our God. I want to request all men, please, we'll not keep you for long. 
If you're married, there is no age, but if you are single, it's from 25 years and above, so that we can be able to fellowship together and see how we are going to grow the kingdom of God. I'm married uh, to one wife, and we are blessed with five children. I worship at St. Monica Dadora, where I'm also the chairman of the parish, the local church, and also the chairman of the Achidikonali, uh, Dadora Achidikonali. May God bless you. I'm really, really blessed. Asante sana mchugaji for inviting us and accepting us to be hosted here. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Canon Karaoke, and uh, for you together with Reverend Naftari uh, for choosing St. Mary's uh, as a place where you would want to come on this your visit to the Westlands at Chirikonri. Thank you. I know kulikuwa na kanisa mingi za Westlands, lakini mkachagua hapa. Hapa ni mahali mzuri. Bwana asifiwe. Just then, um, just to make a few reminders that um, our 10 million challenge registration is still on. Um, as uh, it was announced, we are at uh, 70, but uh, since then I have received two more registrations. So we are at 72. Makofi, thank you. Allow me to ask, is there anybody uh, who has not yet registered and would wish to register the 10 million challenge? Uh, Nani Badu Haja registered to join, just by a show of hand. Nikuleta registration form. Thank you. Thank you. Kim Nakuona. There we have uh, two people, very important people. Uh, the work of the screens, I forgot to say, was done by uh, the chairman for Kama, Mr. Karaoke. Let us, uh, Canon Karaoke. Thank you. Thank you, Canon. Uh, then I saw Kim. Kim Diana to Saidia ku facelift our church. Kim, I saw you. Simama uh, too. Yes, I saw you, Kim. Tumpigia Makofi. Thank you. Alafu ukujia kadiako ya registration. Bwana asifi. Ama nikulete kama wengine. Usiseme pasini mimi haku niletea. Kuna mwingine bado? Yes. So you feel the white part. You remain with the other part. Lafu unitafti yo pesa. Asante. Thank you. Asante. Thank you. Um, thank you. The Vicar's Warden is reminding me that uh, on Wednesday we hosted uh, the Archdeacons from uh, Congo. Uh, we hosted them a good number. I think there were 11 or thereabouts, but all in total there were about uh, 13, and uh, they were really uh, humbled to see uh, what the Lord is doing in this church. When they compare the history and everything, they really appreciated. But one thing we learned uh, out of the whole thing is that uh, uh, Congo is very rich. It has all the minerals and everything but yet it is very poor because there is no peace. The, the leader of the present worship uh, mentioned something. Nakasema tu, tumambie mungu ni asanti kwa sababu tunamani. Bwana sifiwe. Just because we enjoy the peace of God, we just tell God thank you. Bwana sifiwe. Hata kama tunalipa tax kidogo kidogo. Yesu ni bwa? Yes, thank you. It's my honor and uh, uh, I'm really humbled. Baba Skofu. Uh, to invite you to say hi to this congregation. You served here, and uh, indeed you, you told me that, that you are vicar here many years ago, maybe before some of us were born, and uh, now we are preaching because you laid a foundation. And uh, now you can see the fruits. Uh, you can now be proud. You can be a proud father because of the work you did so many years ago. Now, Baba Skofu, karibu sana.
Saint Mary's Kabete. Praise be to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many can re recognize this peace? Who are seated here? Sasa, the vicar of the parish, the preacher, the Kama chairman, and all protocols observed. Ikwana say Marindas and parish council members. I'll ask the vicar to allow me to speak as ambitious founder of this parish. Mama Njero, who is my dear wife, is here with, with me. And what you have seen, Vika, is very true. I'm seeing my sons serving the Lord where I served many years ago. What do I want to say? I want to ask you as a teacher, and a teacher has two issues allowed to him. You can raise up your hand and answer, or you can answer in chorus. <clears throat> when was the church next to this one built? Wale wanajibu wanasemaje? Nineteen twenty one. Zero twenty six. Nineteen twenty one. Raise up your hand if you are born that time. <laughs> right. Don't feel ashamed that you are not born that time. That was not your time. Your time came when you were born. So I thank God for all of you. How old is this parish today? Oh, I, I begin with the other. When was this parish founded? Not the church, parish. When was this parish founded? Munanjua Hamjui nineteen eighty one nineteen eighty one and who founded it? Then Reverend Peter Jaggi Joker. Who is today? Bishop Emeritus Nairobi Diocese. So, how old then is the parish of St. Mary's? How old is it today? Sorry? 43 years. So, I am coming back to St. Mary's. After how many years? 43 years plus two because I was transferred from here 1984. That is when I was transferred to go and become a vicar of St. Mark's Westlands. And we na Nairobi Pamonja. Na watoto wetu, watoto wetu, suffered a lot. 
But they suffered because of Christ. They suffered because our service was to Christ. So, they are blessed because of that. Uyu naona hapa. Grace. Situlikuwa na wei hapa. I am delighted to know this is your son. <laughs> Praise be to God. Grace to Rikua Nai Hapa. So now I want to come to the second point. You see where your hole is towards the boundary between Mount Kenya, South and Nairobi Thousands. What is, what is the name of that small township which has built that fence? Dumboini. Dumboini tulikuwa na mama mmoja. Alikuwa naitua mama ndiki. Sini mama ya mzee wako. Hmm? Simuiti mzee maana mimi ndia mzee. Mama wa buwana yako. Right? You see that building which is there? Professor Nyaga. Kalibu hapa tafalari. Mr. George Gidae. I saw you. Come here, please. Now we, we have two others who are not here. One is Muraguri. Muraguri is at uh, St. Joseph. The other one is the late Zakaria Joguna. But the engraver of Zakaria and Joguna is here. So why do you think I have called these people here, brothers here? Because these people, they are Wanjakarada trees where that hole is. And we are putting those Njakaranda trees again in cinema. Tukiwa na hawa waze. Kuchimbua. Sisi wenyewe kuchimbua. And we felled those trees. Then we hired a rory, which used to take us to Ngong. It used to take us to Ngong. Where, why were we going to go to buy stones which have built the hall which is there? We used to get them from Gong with Professor Nyaga especially. Tulikuwa tunapanda roli moja. Tunakuenda Gong. Mutunga Tiri. This is part of the history we are going to write about this church, right? We built that hall against the wishes of Mount Kenya South. We are encroaching. We are encroaching, but God help us to tafadhali mnaweza kuketi sasa asandeni sana. He was begging permission to say something. Na muambia wacha ni malizi. Now, what I want to say is, you have seen those young men 
who stood with me here, two of them, and the others who I mentioned. Eh? What I want to ask this congregation through the vicar, please, vicar, organize for a day called the day of remembrance of when this parish was inaugurated and those who are there. Vicar, inauguration, inauguration of St. Mary's Parish. And remember, we'll invite Muraguri. Muraguri was part of here before we separated St. Joseph from St. Mary's and made it a, a church to serve the school there. And now later it became a parish. Let us all come with our families to celebrate. Our families to celebrate with us. Our friends to celebrate with us. The inauguration of St. Mary's parish because before that it was part of St. Mark's parish. Did you know that? It was part of St. Mark's so it was in Apata Mchungaji Wakuja Hapa Takini Analipuan a Saint Analipuan a Saint Mark's Nani Azarapo Saint Mark's. So I want you to make that special day and day of inauguration of the parish and you raise money as a church because of that project which I have seen behind here. <clears throat> and the organizer is going to be the vicar assisted by Professor Nyaga and Mr. Gidai. <laughs> because you send it is how many years? Yo sinimiake ya mtu kuwa kuzaliwa na kuwa mtu ambaya na watoto wake. Eh? So, we thank God that we are there. We are there and we are able to stand. Jambora tatu ni seme. Ukitoa zaburi. Mia na kumina nane. Psalm 118. Verses 16, one, 118, verses 16, 17, and 18. Especially 17 and 18. Who can read that aloud? Walo anasoma Biblia, hapa mbele wako wapi? And even reflected there. Psalm 118, verses 16, 17, and 18. The ones I wanted, the Lord has tested me severely, but he has not left me. This is testimony borne by Bishop Emeritus. Testing severely. I was tested. I was in the ICU for how long, Mama Jeru? 
wiki mbili Profesa Nyaka kama once again This is a great person to me He was there with Mama Njeru at Aga Khan and when he came where my body lay waiting to be moved he prayed and walked out he did not even say goodbye to mama kwa nini agomo igaga ucio ucio ne bito na wanagukorwa ne na hoya ucio ne bito na that is why I keep on saying the Lord tested me severely, but he did not leave me to, to die. To kute. Your own wife. Anaka akishikilia roho yake. Huyu mume kweli atatoka hapa. Professor Nyaga came and he prayed. He prayed. That is his testimony to me later on. But when he left where I was, he did not stop. He just left the hospital. Why? Because he saw a dying bishop. And if that was not enough, then director of director of um, PESA, credit controller, Akandika Huyo Sasa Hayuko. Na ikawekwa katika rekond ya pesa sile italipua Shilingi erufu ishilina tano Kuperekwa katika mogu Uyu munaona hapa anasimama Wakati nasema tukutendeleza Wakati nasema mungu Pried me Tested me bitterly But he did not leave me to die This can happen to you my brothers and my sisters. It can happen to anybody. But please don't keep away from the Lord. Please don't be tempted to go where you will be told Epu anguka hapo. Hmm? Unanguka, unakuta huyu ananingoja hapo. Na kama si mkuti na, na anguka hapo na I start wriggling like a Ambitin snake eh? Na nikitoka hapo I am shouting Nimeponywa, nimeponywa, nimeponywa eh? I'm not in this thing, anybody But this is what we have learned happens And they have testified There are people who are always in conscripted to stand behind those others so that when I raise my hand like that on my face, you fall. Now, if you it has a mechanic. Jesus heals. That is what I know and what I believe. Jesus heals. But he does not behave like a magician. Jesus does not behave like a magician. He is the savior and he saves people because he has that power. And his power cannot be claimed by charlatans who come in front of people and pretend they are healing 
and out of all that, what they will leave that place with is chondos ambazos imenjaa pesa. Pesa zile zimetolewa na wale wameponywa. What am I saying? The Lord chastised me severely, but he did not leave me to he did not leave me to die. I am alive and I am a testimony to the Lord. In front of you, the parish I served 1981, 1982, 1983, and the part of 1984. So, as I speak, I speak as one who can testify anywhere. I can stand anywhere and tell the people how Jesus heals. And I will never be ashamed to say, Jesus does not behave like a magician. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Savior. He participated in the creation of all that is seen and and praise be to God. Gidai, George, ama ulikuwa nafikiri nilisahau, siku sahau. Yes, ama skofu. There are two things which I wanted to say. Uh, two things. Every time I remember I must go for. I remember two things I had done to this church and diocese. He mentioned the, the hall. And like what happens nowadays, when he went abroad and he was given money, he sent it to St. Mary's. And an almost comes with a person who put it in his pocket. That is one. And for that, I remember every day. The other one is about. Don't worry. Yeah, I saw. Uh, the other thing which I know is this. When the Diocese of Nairobi was created, even at those high levels, they thought it would never stand. No money. No money. He made it stand and prosper. And there is one word I can say, and I believe. Although a bishop is a title, you are an apostle. Yes, because I've told him what I want to say. He is an apostle. An apostle never leaves the sword. Uh, Baba Skofu, um, thank you for coming. Uh, to be <clears throat> a living witness, as you've put it, to the healing power of uh, Jesus Christ. As he said, I went and I prayed. And uh, I told uh, Mama, don't worry. Uh, he may not be hearing, but God has heard and he answers faithful prayers. And so, my encouragement uh, to all of us uh, is how will God see you remember in the challenges that we were told in the sermon uh, are you 
able to trust him even when you see nothing is happening. Uh, and so, uh, thank you, Baba Askofu, for coming, for being able to be a witness to all of us. And uh, Christ will honor that one. It's number one. Number two, uh, I've preached here, uh, Esther, you know, Jenga, you know, many times as a lay reader. And at the end of every sermon, my question was, how is your relationship with Christ? And I would wish that all of us here, when Christ comes back, none will be left behind. That all of us will uh, go into that chariot. Number three, uh, Kedai here, uh, you've heard about Zakaria. She was the first lay reader, uh, and Muragori and I were the second. And so, uh, Zakaria, we buried here as the first founder of the church then. Uh, the beginning of the end is every day for each one of us. And so, uh, I have put many things here. Uh, the other day, Brian was telling me the vicar wants to see me, and I told him uh, I will come. And so, Brian, uh, that will do. So, uh, personally, each one of you, what will you say? when Christ comes and asks, I gave you talents, I gave you opportunities, I gave you ability to talk to me, what will you say about yourself that you did for me? And so, Baba uh, Skofu, I wanted to say this, the last one. As uh, the vicar's warden then, we had issues paying uh, the resident vicar when he became bishop. And I went to him and I told him, now, uh, looks like the parish may not be able to make any development project. And he listened to me, he told me, what do you want? I told him, uh, can you find a way to help us? All these developments you see here are because he listened to the suggestions we gave to him from the parish. And so let me uh, thank you, uh, Baba Skofu, for all the developments you see here. They came out because you are able to change some things in the budget that helped us to manage the parish, paying the priest, and then the money that was left, you can be able now to put into development. And so uh, I will stop there. Uh, and many of, I've seen many of you uh, are here and the worship team you notice it gives us a lot of uh, encouragement to the Lord <laughs> the choir uh, makes the worship very uh, uh, worthy of praises and so uh, let us always be able to uh, appreciate them. Uh, thank you, Mamba Skofu. I think you may as well now. Uh, we appreciate you appreciating the two of us. Mungu Akbariki. Mwangi na Muragori na Mama Mama Rosa Then you have your spouses here So this parish 
developed from that small church you can see there, which did not have where the vicar could sit. And it is because it was not built as a church. It was built as a chapel where when people bring their bodies here from Barrio, that is where the, the prayers would be held because this compound, even government of that time and even today, it is also licensed as a, yes. So, when the Archbishop of Kenya and the Bishop Waweru came to visit where we are, not our home, but the parish, I repeated what I had told Bishop Waweru many times. What is that? Popes, either Roman Catholic, are buried at the crypt of St. Peter's Vatican. Here in Kenya, we do not have a crypt where archbishops can be buried if they so wished. So I told the congregation that was gathered. When it comes to the day of resurrection, I want to rise from my church. I want to rise from a Nataka Mwiriwangu Uzikwe. Uzikwe in a church compound. Where I rise from. So that when I go to heaven, I will say, I have come from <laughs> St. Mary's Church. Nemorona mutumio yu ikaile aha. Weta kwa misis. Eta kwa misis njoka. Njoka is my father. I am Jagi. Peter, Jagi, Njoka. Amesikia hiyo mare ya piri sasa. Nikisema, mimi nataka kufufuka kutoka kanisa la St. Mary's maana ni mimi lianzisha kanisa hilo as a parish I started this church as a parish hata wakati mchunganji alikuwa anasema baba wandao says ya nini it is not just diocese of Nairobi also the parish of St. Mary. This is where the fatherhood of places where God is worshipped is started. And I am gr grateful when I'm visiting parishes because the diocesan bishop allowed me to do that. I am grateful because people recognize bishop Emeritus is synonymous with the diocese of Nairobi. Mana nimekua hapa tukiwa na the late Archbishop Festo Olang, huyo ndia ni ondin, huyo ni miyakagani yu. Arab, 
akafuatiwa na Archbishop Manasses, Kuria, Archbishop David, Itari, Archbishop Benjamin, Zimbi, Archbishop, Wanimweacha Chorus, Eliud, Namwisho, Jackson, Ole, Huyo, Sinja Fanya Kazi Nae, Lakini Hao Engine Wote, Tumefanya Kazi Na Wao, Wakiongoza Kanisa La Linalo Itua Anglican Church of Kenya, Na Nimekua Katika Biyama Vyote, Hato Akati, Belita Kibisho Festu Olang, Alikuwa Naambiwa Kwa Sinod, you cannot chair. You cannot chair this synod because your days in office ended last night at midnight. Na naambiwa hivyo mba ya layman. Not even a bishop or a priest. Na naambiwa hivyo na layman. You cannot chair this synod because your days on being the Archbishop of Kenya ended last night at mid midnight. Sasa mumenisikise ya kutosha. I have given you a lot of history. Na kama ni mewaapa historia nyingi sana ambayo hamuku njua ifuatishie ifuatishie ni wimbo ili ni wabariki tutoke. Thank you so much, uh, Baba Skofu. Uh, members of St. Mary's Kabete, uh, I would want to invite all of us to stand, and we can only honor him with the hymn or words of uh, Psalm 23. Buwana ni mchugaji wangu, sita pungukiwa kitu, and uh, then uh, we shall invite the bishop to give us uh, the final uh, blessings. Praise and worship, kindly come.
Haleluya. Asante sana. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Pauline Mwanjiko Jage na nampenda Yesu. Kwa maana ninajua aliniokoa. And I don't regret. Mpaka wakati huu tumefurahi sana kuja kuabunu na nyinyi na nasema hata kama magojo inakuja hatuwezi tukasifu magojwa kwa hivyo tunasifu Mungu ule ametuupa Asante sana Bika na the leaders wote tumeshukuru hata vile tumepokelewa na furaha tunashukuru Mungu sana sana kwa kuwa na nyinyi kwa hivyo tunawapenda mkiona tukija kwenu tunawapenda asante sana let us pray we bow our hands before you O oh god as our savior and maker this time O oh lord you have led us through this service we have had fellowship around the table of communion we have had your word preached and now lord we come to the end of this service so that we may go back to our home and as we go we pray that you continue to be with us and to bless us throughout now the peace of God which passes your understanding. Keep your hearts and minds the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, be with your friends, be with your families, be with your neighbors. Remain with us all now and always. As you go, Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name Amen. of Christ. Amen. 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 Now you are dismissed. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, members of St. Mary's. Uh, praise team, kindly uh, guide us in the recession of chorus. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for your patience, too. Thank you. bearing minded men kindly you don't need to move out you just remain briefly for like 10 minutes uh, we then uh, we have uh, our editor James together with the uh, uh, the senior the seniors the founders we have prepared something for you on the boardroom you shall be guided kindly join our Bishop Emeritus for lunch uh, thank you to Mushukuru Mungu Asante Thank you.